Hi guys and welcome to another a Co Copic coloring and card tutorial. Today I am coloring Neva. She is a Little Miss Muffet stamp stamp. She's a digital stamp. So I have printed her out on my Epson and my Epson printer takes DuraBright inks and DuraBright inks actually works both with Copics and with watercolors. So uh, if you like using digital inks, uh, it's an awesome and really good printer. I just love it. It has changed my crafting life because uh, I can use so much more mediums with it. And my previous uh, HP laser printer, you could do both watercoloring and Copics, but uh, it didn't take as thick cardstock as this printer do. So for the paper, I've printed it on the Make It Crafty blending cardstock as usual. And then I'm um, just coloring her with my Copics. I actually did color this uh, on a live stream. That was why I kind of missed the start of it because I forgot to put on the other camera. Uh, I did a trial run, my first ever live stream on Twitch uh, the um, in November. This was in the beginning of November. And uh, I'm hoping to be able to do a few more of these kind of live streams. Um, and if you are interested in watching me real-time coloring and chatting with me at the same time, um, I will have a link down below to my, crypt, uh, my Twitch channel where you can kind of subscribe and you can also add to get notifications when live, then you will get notifications in like emails, through emails or such to uh, when I go live, those time I go live, because I, it was a lot of fun and I'm hoping to be able to do it, do it a little bit more regular uh, in 2017. But yes, today is coloring Neva. I'm doing what is sort of called no line coloring. And the whole uh, idea is to print your image uh, with a lighter ink or uh, stamp it in a lighter ink because you can do this just as well with your rubber stamps and your cling stamps and, and your uh, yeah all your stamps <laughs> and um, what you do is you don't get that stark black line so you can if you want uh, change a little bit here and there but uh, I really love how soft they turn out just going for um, the trying to make her as the basic stamp was from the beginning. The color scheme I have chosen is a very 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 neutral one. I'm going with the E50s, the E40s and the warm greys to kind of get that brown, brown um, down to earth feeling. And then I'm using the Y20s for her bells as that is kind of soft yellow. I'm using the same dark browns for her eyes, the E40s. And I'm gonna use the same color for her hair as I did for her eyes. So, so I have a little bit of blue in her eyes to kind of give them a little bit of dimension to make them feel a little bit more rounded. And if you want to see the real-time coloring of this video, I will be posting that tomorrow so you can get that. And if you are watching on my blog and have yet not um, followed my blog on uh, per email, you can do that up in the right corner, on the top right corner, you can um, get your my blog to your email daily and then you will see when I post so yeah that that's a tip also you can have me in your subscription you can subscribe to me or you can do that for the blue colors I'm using the B90s because they are also kind of a grayish blue and neutral tone so I keep the a whole image just very very soft and very very neutral then I'm cutting her out. I'm using my Cutter B scissors by EK Success. These are my absolute fi favorite scissors for fussy cutting. Uh, the tip is to have so sharp, thin scissors like these scissors, but also to move your paper and not your scissors. 
when you are cutting. It makes it so much easier to get close and give my favorite technique, which is that little white border around my little stuff. For my card, I'm going to do my own card base, which is going to be four and a quarter by three and a quarter. Then I'm going to use these uh, pattern paper. The first was from Boca in the Snow Ballon Fawn, and the other one is by Dulbag, their latest Christmas um, release. So I'm cutting it down to three by four, and the uh, reindeer paper I'm actually cutting down to three by four, but I'm leaving making it a slight little less than the other paper because i'm going to have it on the back side and then it won't kind of show up on the sides so i'm going to use these dies from simon's stamp these are these um, double stitched uh, circle dies and i'm using the three smallest of them because i'm going to make like a little bit of a peekaboo design um, behind that um, kind of cream paper because I wanted to have something but I didn't want it to take over the card. So I make this little peekaboo design with the help of my dies which I run through my Big Shot which is my absolute favorite uh, die cutter. I had a cuddle bug before but I really do enjoy my um, Big Shot a lot more. And then I also made a couple of circles because I keep those uh, uh, cream colored circles and then I did a couple of circles in the off cut of that background paper. So for the front side of the card I'm using some first some tape runner uh, on the bigger part and then I'm going in with some quickie glue pen. This is an awesome glue pen and I'm going just around where I didn't put that um, glitter and this is because I want or the <laughs> glitter the tape runner because I wanted to kind of stuck a little bit better and not uh, peel off the paper and then I'm just adding that um, background paper with the little reindeers uh, on the back side of that um, so then I get those little circles. Then I'm taking a war gray, num the uh, double zero, a w double zero. That's what it's, it's a hard pen to say. I, but I'm making small small lines just at the border so that it looks like the circles are casting a shadow. So I get get a little bit more depth, even though I'm not. Uh, building up the card. I'm just making it very flat. I usually put on my layers upside down because it kind of works. Um, it was uh, another YouTuber uh, who told me way, way long time ago and it's just awesome. I'm using some foam tape to adhere the little Neva. And then I'm gonna use the circles to um, kind of build up this little detail on the inside, leaving a lot of white so you still can write something on the card. Um, and then I'm using a mixture of the tape runner and the quickie glue pen to add those little circles, trying to keep them all with the same, uh, in the same direction to get them about the same direction as the front side. And then I'm using a little block to keep it down and glue down. I'm gonna use a sentiment uh, from the uh, one of the newer Simon's Stamp Christmas stamp sets. And then I'm stamping that in some um, Cocoa Brown by Memento. And then I'm gonna cut this little strip off that I just cut out uh, so that it doesn't cover that circle. I felt it came a little bit too close to the edge and kind of clouded it. So I'm just cutting it out and making one of these little um, flag ends by cutting up in the middle and then cutting from the edges into that middle cut. So then I get a perfect flag end every time. Again, I'm using my quickie glue pen to glue it down because I didn't feel I needed more dimension on that. Um, and I'm using, again, a little block 
to keep it down because as you see it moves easily this glue isn't super sticky but when it has dried it is so um, you have to be a little bit careful when you use it but I really like the pen and for the inside I wanted to finish it off so I have this sticker sheet from the same collection by Doodlebug so I'm going to use this little reindeer that matches with the reindeers in the circles and I'm just going to add her in the uh, corner and then my card is done I hope you liked it if you do please thumbs it up it means a lot to me share it with your friends and um, if you haven't subscribe to this channel and you can get more videos like this tomorrow you can see the real-time version uh, of the coloring with a voiceover and here are two other cards that I have made with the Little Miss Muffet stamps one from 2015 and one from 2014 thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later bye